Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today I have a very dangerous test because it might require me buying this thing and it's with this beautiful car, the BMW 635 CSI, which is also called the Shark. <laughs> Let me show you. Now, why did they call this beautiful car the Shark? Well, very simple. It's because of the front nose. Look at that. It has an inner incline which exactly resembles a shark. And then when we look at it from this angle, it literally looks like a shark. I mean, even the color is sharkish, right? This beautiful piece of automotive history has been built from 1975 to 1989, which makes it one of the longest production BMWs that they ever had. It came out in two versions. This is the 81 and there was another one with that famous 286 horsepower facelift engine, which this sadly doesn't have. But still, it's a beautiful machine to look at and it's very, very nice. The shapes are matching still to this day. I mean, obviously it looks a little old, right? But still it has those shapes like a typical Sixer BMW Coupe. Now let's have a look at the engine. This beautiful machine is called the M90, which is the performance oriented version of the M30. It has 218 horsepower and 310 Newton meters of torque, able to accelerate this car from zero to 107.5 seconds, which is okay in today's terms and tops out at around 235 kph. Now it only has a four speed and we have a very sad thing with this car. And it's this, it's an automatic, a four speed automatic, man. Please cry with me because I would love for it to be a manual gearbox. It's insane. The older the cars get, the more you wish it for it to be a manual. But then have a look at this interior. Come on, this thing is built to last. Beautiful blue, white and black combination. And look at that, rock solid. This comes from a time where you could actually hit it and it would start working. Look at that speedometer. Yes, sir. Beautiful steering wheel, fully made out of leather. Very nice shapes, the typical BMW logo from back in the day. And look at that interior. Look at the climate control. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen because every single dial is made in German. Lüfter Max, warm, kalt, oben, unten, normal, zu, Lüftung. This doesn't have that famous BMW bing that will make you suffer terribly because you know something is broken. It has the predecessor of that, which I think it's much cooler. It's a test button to show you whether all the things that the car has are actually working. You can see engine oil, brake fluids and so on. Is everything all right with my car? Green? Yes. If not, you're fucked. But let's be honest here, friends. We're not here to bother about stuff like that, right? We are here to find out whether this car is actually a nice fit for my little collection. So let's start it up and take it for a drive. Give her some time. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, I have this strange thing that I look at old cars like beautiful elderly women. I like to take it easy on them because they have seen the whole world, right? I just need to make her feel young a little bit. So that's what we're doing with this 635 CSI. We're taking it for a nice warm up spin. And then when the time is right, we'll take it for a fast ride. <laughs> I'm rolling, look at that! 635 CSI taking on its first corner and it feels actually very modern. In all honesty, it feels pretty modern, even the brakes, it doesn't feel outdated. <laughs> that's, that's funny. A little bit of wind noises, right? At 110 kph, but other than that, it feels pretty solid. All right, we are approaching some mountain roads. It's time to see how this lady is going to drive. Now, it has, you know, it's a four speed gearbox, but I have a two and a one there, which is kind of odd. So that seems like I can drive in second gear here and accelerate a little. Oh, it doesn't even pull that bad going into that corner. <laughs> it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very old by no means. I'll tell you that. But you can tell that the suspension work has gone a long, long way up, man. But hey, the pull, huh? It really pulls pretty nice. The brakes feel outdated, obviously. Let's see. But the pull is actually very good. In all honesty, you wouldn't think it, but it actually pulls 
Can I do an overtaking maneuver? Oh, that's going to be a difficult one. Now, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful moment. The sun came out a little bit and we're driving behind this terrible Tesla in front of us. Ugh! But hey, look at that beautiful Switzerland. Come on! <laughs> ah! Lovely, lovely drive with this thing. Lovely drive. Look at that, friends. My God, this is really, really interesting to look at. Thank God the sun came out a little bit. <laughs> what a wonderful ride this is. Really, really nice to drive, man. It's really nice to drive. And it pulls, it does pull. It's not like it doesn't, it really pulls. It's, it's nice. I think we should do a little pull just to see how this goes. Ooh! Ooh! Second gear, that's it! Hey, that wasn't even that bad. That wasn't even that bad. <laughs> We're gonna take this beautiful 635 to a ferry drive. <laughs> I didn't have to do it, but I wanted to do it. I just want to take some pictures, in all honesty, on that ferry. I don't know, it seems like the thing you should do with the 635. Go on a ferry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm strange, yeah, I know. I know, but leave me alone. I thought maybe I can do some pictures here on the ferry, but sadly, as you can see all around, it's full traffic here. So, sad, sad. I wanted to take some pictures, man, but whatever. Whatever, let's appreciate the moment. Let's just take it for this ferry drive. Look at that, modern BMW, right? Old school BMW. It's crazy how they kept the logo for all those years. And I think it's a wonderful thing. I really do. It's really nice. Going off the ferry with this beautiful BMW 635. Nice ferry drive, right? Nice ferry drive. And now we're taking it for some more mountain roads and a little bit of, yeah, just landly roads. Listen to that typical inline six from BMW still to this day they sound exactly the same yeah yeah it has some pull to it whoa <laughs> ah, it has some it has some pull it has some pull friends it really does very very nice second gear cornering yeah, you can tell it understeers a little bit. <laughs> but what did you expect, right? I mean, come on, this is an old, old car, 40 years old. And you know, that is, that is now exactly the thing, why I'm thinking about it, right? Should I buy it or not? I know it's in phenomenal condition. It's in peak condition and I don't mind that it doesn't have leather seats, but it's just like, you know, I made a mistake buying the C63 and the M6 combination because I bought the sort of comfortable BMW M car and the, the C63 should be the uncomfortable sporty AMG but turns out it's the other way around. The M6 feels sportier than the C63 believe it or not and the C63 feels more comfortable. So I feel like I need to change that up right. If I were to choose those cars again, I would have chosen a CL63 as my long distance coupe and a BMW M3 E92 as my sporty weekend drive. You know, that's just basically what I'm thinking about. And this car is from 1982. I know myself, I know I want to push it. So I think about buying a car from the 90s rather than this, right? Something that is more modern that can withstand the punishment because obviously I feel even bad for, for driving this fast, right? In all honesty, I just wanna hover along uh, beautiful roads, not push it too much, not do anything to it to break it. So that's why I'm thinking, should I really get this car or should I get maybe an M3 E36 instead? Maybe something like that. Or I just pass on old cars and just go with the E92 M3 sell all the other cars and get a CL63 also. 
something like that but change is going to come for next year friends 2025 i will change my cars up i will mix it a little bit do something else and we'll see how that goes now let's let's take this for a little bit more of a drive but i think i i made my decision i really do all right friends we have finished the drive with our beautiful 635 csi experience now the car is for sale at Auto Salon Folketsville as you can see when I turn around there's a bunch of cars here is where I bought the C63 and so on this M2 is also for sale or already sold as it seems but you know I think I've ultimately made my decision and the thing is just I feel like it's a little too old for me in all honesty it doesn't give me the pleasure of driving like a E36 would give me the pleasure to because I, I know I really want to push it, I really want to drive it, I, go, I want to go on track with it and that's why this beautiful lady here needs to go into better hands than mine. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know into the, in the comment section because I really like the drive. It's a beautiful thing but it's ultimately not for me and I don't want to buy something that I really can't enjoy as much as I would love to. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, I'll reply to the comments. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and see you on the next one. Goodbye.